Hey guys, had a bunch of people asking about how these tieback systems are installed and how to tie back a seawall properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on this one right here, just showing some uh, tieback systems we've installed on this wall. We've got the uh, dead men style tieback, which use a six inch piling, drive it down six to eight foot in the ground with a couple drag plates. And we also got a couple manta rays. So I'll take a couple of these videos here and show you exactly how to install them and how to tie back your seawall properly. Thanks for watching guys. If y'all hadn't subscribed yet, please hit the like button and subscribe. In this area right here, we couldn't put tieback systems in with the uh, typical pilings and uh, rods. So what I did is I used a manta ray earth anchor and I'll show you that in the video coming up. But we drove those things 18 foot behind the seawall at a slight angle below the pool so we didn't interfere with any of the pool structure. Over there, we're over there. Turn back this way. Braxton, hop out of the way so we can see what we're doing when we're... If you could, please. Thank you. All right, hook. standard style of Deadman where you use a six foot or an eight foot piling and drive it down uh, behind the seawall. We've got a uh, 12 foot type 316 stainless steel rod connected to it, two drag plates on it. We've already got it all connected so I'll go with the vibratory hammer on top of it and drive it down where it needs to go.
Chief's made it to the job today, keeping my foot warm in the tractor. <laughs> hey, if y'all haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you like what you watch, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. That helps me out. I appreciate that. And if you don't mind sharing it as well. Thank you.